It is day 20 of the Russian invasion into Ukraine, and so far Russia has yet to capture any of the 10 largest cities in Ukraine. The Kremlin, however, has said that it could do so if it wished. Listen in. The Russian Defense Ministry has also issued a warning saying that it will target Ukrainian arms and factories in retaliation for the Ukrainian strike on the separatist-controlled city of Donetsk. At least 20 people were killed and Russia accused Ukraine of using cluster charges on a densely populated area. Russia urged workers and local residents of such arms and factories to, in fact, stay away. So let's now take a look at the progress that Russia has made in this invasion. The invasion is taking place on several fronts. Russian forces continue to advance steadily, especially in the south and the southeast. The capital, Kiev, has also been surrounded by Russian forces in the north. Loud explosions were heard in Kiev from the early hours of dawn. A projectile was sent over the capital skyline, followed by a bright light. Russian forces have been bearing down on Kiev, but have made slow progress so far towards the city. The war currently going on between Ukraine and Russia is a war of interest. Uh, I would say it's a war between two brothers who have decided to go on a different path because they will not align on the same purpose. Now, Russia will not want Ukraine for any reason to get involved with NATO. Ukraine has decided to join force with NATO and that pushed Russia to the war. And that's what led to the invasion on the 24th of February 2022. The decision of Ukraine to join NATO, that was what provoked Russia to say no. Because they understand that if Ukraine joined NATO, it will give opportunity for U.S. to have their, uh, their path along their border. And that will not be good for them because U.S. will begin to get information which will determine how strong or how weak Russia is. And Russia will understand the implication of that and decided to say, no, if you go ahead with your decision, this will be the consequence. And of course, that is what we're saying currently. Please let me ask you a question. Now you are acting as, uh, you are, you are supporting, you're supporting the U.S. government. Okay, if you're U.S., you, will you allow people to come and form alliance in your borders? Look at what is happening. U.S. is the major cause of what is happening in Ukraine. And then you're sitting, giving us baby drama. Let's be, let's, let's be sincere. Let's be sincere. Let's be sincere. It's not fair. It's not fair. This is betrayal of the highest order. Well, the truth remains that U.S. are a good interest. And the interest is simple. The interest to ensure that there is a good bilateral relationship between uh, Russia, Ukraine, and themselves in order for progress. What kind of progress? What kind of good interest? What interest? Okay, betrayal. You can't betray a good interest. You to, to, to join to join NATO is a good interest. No. Yes. Yes. It's what a good kind of good interest good. is that? It's simple. The interest to ensure that you have bodies to protect what you kind of bodies? in case there is emergency beyond your control. What kind now, of not emergency? only that, listen. Are you, let me even ask you this, are you saying the way the Russian government, Putin is going about this, right? Bombing everywhere, killing innocent people? I'm not, I'm not in support, I'm not in support of uh, Putin killing innocent people at then all. What are you I'm, saying? I'm not at all. But then the, the crisis is something one should worry about. This is madness because they, 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 they even inflated the figures. Innocent people have been butchered every blessed day. And you expect people to be happy? Now, what's your proof that the figures were being inflated? Okay, the other day, they showed, they, they said, was it 52 uh, people that were dead already? And then you could see someone, you could see it very clear. The person, because he was suffocating, he had to open the cell of that they covered him with. So what do you have to say about that? Hmm. What do you have to say about that? And this thing keeps going on every blessed day. Oh, you don't listen to this. You don't have the love that you, you are here. No, the truth is, no. I am saying that. I'm surprised you're saying this. No, oh, I think you should gather your facts. You no, I gather my facts. My facts are not No, no, no. No, no. I am not. Excuse me. You're supporting the madness that is happening. You are. 
matter. My point remains that the war is not the way forward. Okay, my, so point, my point remains that Putin should have just stepped away from I mean, Ukraine joining NATO and let it be. And then he stays on his boat rather than say, by force, you must not join them. What, where, where is the sovereignty then of, of Ukraine? That is actually betrayal from the, from the angle of Ukraine. Because, okay, uh, NATO and Americans said that we are going to that, they, 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 they have their backing, that the war is for them. And then when the war started, they actually backed out. They backed out. So the war is actually a threat war. You would have seen you the, cannot you say have the back out. Out. You cannot say the back out. You see, the truth is this. Ukraine is fighting with Russia. Now, it, it has nothing to do with the US. It has nothing to do with no, US. No, you can't say US backed out. US have that. to watch them. The truth is, US will first protect because you cannot give us aid when you don't have aid. So US will first protect their own citizens. No and that's what is happening. Protect. US is protecting their own people. Why Ukraine is carrying its cross? When they now discover that Ukraine has no effort anymore or no power to fight anymore, that's why they will come in. But for now, they have to safeguard their own territory. They have to safeguard and they have, they have money, they have arms to send to the country. Yes, to help them fight to their own Are you for yes. real? Why they defend you their own self? Yes. If you get you want and someone is betraying you, no, is that it's not, not going that's to not betrayal. Oh, so is it when they brought Ukraine to zero level? That they will not come in when they know Ukraine has nothing to offer, then they'll start dictating to them what they want to do, what they want them to do in exchange of that is not it is not worth it because US are fond of that. They are fond of that. You always want people to look up to them. The ammunition they are providing, if they can come in, if they are even given the solution before this war, it would have been much better. Instead of allowing them to, to kill themselves, instead of giving them help, they are giving their arms. And then at the end of the day, they will have to start asking them for their resources for one thing or the other just to settle themselves. It's not. It's not at all. Well, the truth remains that when you have what it takes for people to look up to you, you will keep your shoulders high. So, US has what it takes for the. What do they have? What they are US holding? Have they are holding sets of people. No, yeah, no, no. Yeah, US have selfish. what it takes. Yeah. And that is why you see the yeah. countries are running up to them. Running up, to them, for up them. to them for what? Because they have all it takes to fly you their children high. Is not because of the, their public act. I see. Uh, that's why Saudi Arabia has actually backed out because the US has something to offer. I mean, and that's why China too has actually backed out because US has something to offer. Mm. Well, really? if if China and the other and Saudi Arabia decide to back up, it's a voluntary thing. It doesn't stop US from being the big brother that US is. Big you brother, I give my advice to the president of Ukraine is for you to just go and make peace with your neighbor because NATO and US will keep messing you up until you have until you are crashed to zero level. So please. Just go and make peace with your neighbor and save your citizens from this um um godly a bit of this needless war, please. Just go and make peace. The world has become a global village. That what happens in A affects B. To this end, we want to see the current war between Ukraine and Russia affects Africa. And we can see this from the current rise in the price of things. You can see that currently forest trade is dropping. The stock market is dropping. We have the rate of imported inflation. As we can see using Nigeria as a case study, things are on the rise. And the reason is because most of the things we use in Nigeria are important and same goes to some other African countries. So, the current war is affecting importation of goods and that is what is giving rise to the prices of things in the market. Also, we can see the arc in the foil price. All of these boils down to the current ongoing war.
in Ukraine and Russia. Yes, according to his point, is that probably right about what he said, even though he was at a point supporting the US. But then I want Africans to stay away from siding anybody. They should they should just they should just be on their lane. Because if if the Russian government decide to release the nuclear weapons they have, it's going to be it's going to be something that's entirely it's going to be trouble that nobody can control. So I just I just I'll just advise Africans to just to just stay on their lane and mind their business for now. Africans should not be in support of the both parties because we don't know the problem of these both countries. So it should not be on a neutral ground because we don't know the whole truth.